Hey, what's up, Internet? My name is Nikki, and today I will be doing my September photo attractions. For most of you who might not know what my photo attractions are, they're just my obsessions of the month. Sort of like a monthly favorites, but not really because I'm just obsessed with them for a couple of days and then it's just, yeah, I'm over it. So let's get into it and starting off with TV shows. So I have been binge watching a lot of Netflix shows, starting off with Sense8. I don't know why it took me so long to watch this show, but I love it. The diversity of it, everything. I am currently obsessed with Wolfgang at the moment and the fact that they are not making a season 3 kind of makes me sad but they did promise a movie so hopefully everything gets wrapped up again. I'm crossing my fingers that someone will pick up season 3 of Sense8. I actually binge watched this in like 3 days and that is not good. It is not good whatsoever because they're roughly an hour long so yeah. But I loved it so much. I am obsessed with it. It's diversity. It just it it deals with a lot of different issues in the world, and I just love how it's just played out. And I I enjoyed it. If you haven't seen it, I say go for it because it's an amazing TV show. It's a Netflix original show. The next thing I ended up binge watching is Grey's Anatomy season 13 because it just came out on Netflix. And I have to say is I'm not quite sure how I feel about this season just because of who ended up leaving the show in this one. I don't think that's really a spoiler because if you at least watch like the first two seasons of Grey's Anatomy all the way through you will know this by now that at every season finale someone gets hurt, killed, or leaves. So one of those things happened in the end of season 13 and I really did like this character but I don't know how I felt about it. I, I don't. I really don't know how I feel about it, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. So the next thing I ended up binge watching is Doctor Who season 10 with Peter Capaldi. Peter Capaldi. Uh, mm, yes, that dude. Uh, so I ended up finally finishing the season. I only got watching two episodes just because I still had to keep all the time and now I don't. So I got to two and then I found a way to ended up watching Doctor Who season 10. So I'm really excited because I've been hearing a lot of things about the new Doctor and I'm really excited. And if you haven't heard about the news, it's not really a spoiler I guess because they announced it and the season finale of Doctor Who but did it actually show us? person yet on the show? What? Wait? Huh? <laughs> so yeah, I'm trying to be really sneaky about this but I don't know how to keep it secret so I'm just gonna shut up and say it was a great season and can't wait for the Christmas special. So the last show that I got really into was Shameless. I was a really big fan a few years back with this. I ended up getting up to season two and then I kind of stopped watching it because I didn't have showtime anymore and then I realized it is on Netflix so I said I ended up binge watching all the rest of it. So I'm currently on season six and there's seven seasons available on Netflix which is really cool. Um, Shameless is about a family who are really interesting dynamic because I don't it's not your typical families that you see like on ABC or stuff like that. No, this is like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's a really interesting thing. I will admit, be warned if you're not really into like nudity and sexual stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff in that show. So moving on to movies. So the first movie I got really obsessed with is Dead Poets Society. So this movie just came out in Netflix and I was really excited to see it. It's one of my favorite movies with Robin Williams. It revolves around a bunch of boys who go to this boarding school and they basically try not to live up to society standards and be their own person and it's just a lot about finding yourself and I really enjoy this movie a lot. It has a great message about like life and stuff but there is a trigger warning because it does deal with death so if you don't like anything with suicide or death involved I will be warned. Granted it doesn't show anything but it is briefly mentioned through it. It's just the whole shebang. Next movie I got really into is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I finally ended up seeing this on DVD uh, so I was really excited. I love the soundtrack for this. Speaking of soundtracks, if you have not seen the trailer for the DVD like release thing yet, I'll put a link in the bottom because that is the greatest. It was great. It was wonderful. Loved it. So the last movie that I have been overly obsessed with is It. Not just the new one that came out this month, but the 1991 as well. The TV series that's roughly three hours long. I ended up watching both of them back to back and I'll have to say is one. Um, 
plays on my, the nostalgia of my childhood and the other one just plays with my childhood fears of mannequin dolls and stuff like that. It's just, I loved it. If you haven't seen it, like go see it. If you're like into horror or any form of like horror comedy kind of stuff, go see it. It's not comedy itself, but it has a lot of great puns and it's just a great comedy relief people in it when something bad happens. It's just, it was amazing. I loved it. I enjoyed it so much. So now moving into YouTube. So this month, for some reason, I have been obsessed with watching a lot of YouTube videos, but not my typical YouTube videos that I usually watch because usually I watch booktube videos and gaming videos. But for some reason, this month, I have been all about like these pranksters slash comedian people who are doing like these Halloween-y videos where they basically play with Ouija boards and they go to abandoned buildings that are supposedly haunted and staying over at these places and granted watching these things like I love them but at the same time I'm like you guys could get arrested for this like you could seriously go to jail for some of these things but I like the feeling I get from watching these videos because of the fear that is going on it just I'm one of those crazy people who love being scared intentionally but yeah I don't know I've been really into these videos and I've been enjoying them immensely I would put like a playlist of what I've been watching but the truth is I've been bouncing around this whole area of like pranksters slash comedians so I have no idea where to start so yeah. the next thing I've been really obsessed with on YouTube is dance choreography music. I've been really obsessed with these recently. I don't know what it is. It's just I love the dance moves and the music that goes with it. It motivates me to actually go to the gym. So yay. So I've been really good in that. Once again, I have no idea how to list this because I've been bouncing back and forth. So yeah. Next thing I've been really obsessed with on YouTube is a trailer that came out for Carmilla. I'm really excited. This is a web series on Kinda TV, a YouTube channel, and they make like these tiny little web series. They go from either a minute long to maybe 20 minutes long, depending on what they're doing. But they announced that there is a movie coming out on October 26th, and I'm so excited because I really, really thought this show ended last year, and the fact that it didn't, I'm just like, I'm a big Carmilla fan like that's one of the main reasons why I got the courage to do these videos because of Carmilla so I love that show. If you haven't seen it go check it out I'll leave a link below. So that is it for my fit attractions just out of curiosity what TV show movies or whatever have you been obsessed with this month tell me below I would like to know. So yeah that is it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more please subscribe if not that's cool I usually try to upload Monday Wednesdays or Fridays. So yeah I catch you later. Oh.